Hi friends, I recently reviewed Spider Former Hydroponic System and I mentioned that I started my first experiment with it. I just got the results from phase 1 testing. Let's go through the grow cycle and check the results. In this experiment, I am growing radish and kale. I will grow kale in first row and third row and radish in center row. By the time the kale take over the garden, I will harvest radishes and dedicate the whole garden for kale. I am placing two seeds in each pod for both kale and radish and I am filling all pods. Alright, the garden is ready. I will add water but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. Let's see how this will turn out. It's day 5. The germination is pretty good. I see the seedlings in all pods except this one. Looks like I forgot to place the seeds in this pod. I don't even see the seeds here. Anyways, I see multiple seedlings in some of the pods. So I'm going to move one of the seedlings to this empty pod. The radishes are coming very strong and kale is catching up. So this is all going good so far. Now that I see the seedlings, I'm going to start adding the nutrition. I will use the same nutrition that came with the system. This is two part nutrition and I have to add 5 ml of A nutrition and 5 ml of B nutrition for every 1 liter of water. Since this bowl capacity is 6 liters, I am going to add 30 ml of each nutrition. It's day 13. Both radish and kale plants are coming very nice. I see nice red stems on the radish plants and those stems are swelling up as well. So the baby radishes are forming, that's really good. The kale is also coming excellent. Some of the pods have two plants and some of the pods have just one plant. Two here, one here, one here, two here, two here and one here. So basically half of the pods have two plants and half of the pods have just one plant. I'm intentionally leaving two plants in some of the pods. I know over the period they are going to get overcrowded but I'm still going to leave them as is and uh, see how they come up. Day 20, the plants are growing very nice. They are all looking very fresh, healthy. Starting with radishes, they are still at baby stage but they are growing well. And coming to kale, this is coming excellent. Look at these beautiful leaves. All are growing super fresh. So far so good. It's day 24. Two radishes are growing very well. They are at a very decent size. The other two are not growing that fast. But it's okay. They are coming up. The kale is all doing very well. And it started taking over the garden. Day 28. Radishes have reached their standard maturity time. I don't want to wait any longer. One radish has grown to a standard size. I have grown this variety many times in many gardens so I have some expectations here. So this radish definitely reached my expectation. Second radish is close. But the other two radishes are comparatively small. Just for quick comparison, I have same variety growing in a hope garden. All radishes in this garden are pretty big. Coming to spider former, it didn't beat my expectations but it is pretty close. I am very confident that these radishes can grow big if I continue to wait. But you know my situation here. I need to take out these radishes and leave the garden for kale which is coming beautiful here. Look at this kale. It is growing excellent, lots of leaves and the leaves are getting huge. 
So it's time to dedicate the whole system for the scale. By the way, I was very concerned at the beginning that the lights are pretty far from the seedlings and the seedlings may get leggy. But I haven't seen any issues here. Both radish and kale are growing very well. Even though the lights are far from the grow deck, they are strong enough and the light is sufficient for the plants to grow healthy. So the overall performance of this garden is pretty good. One final thought before I wrap up. The price point on this system is little high, especially comparing to many other hydroponic systems available in the market. However, Spider Farmer has some branding and their customer support is also good. So I think that comes with some premium pricing. Either way, I wish the price is little low on this system, but that's just my personal opinion. Anyways, this is just the beginning. I will continue to experiment with the system and I will keep you updated with all the results. So please stay tuned. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.